right, we should be live. Uh, welcome. My name is Terry White. <clears throat> I'm the Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe. And it's my pleasure to uh, just spend a few minutes with you today. Um, I'm doing some testing, but while I'm testing, I thought I would show you some of the new tools, new drawing tools in particular, in the latest update <clears throat> for um, Illustrator CC. So Illustrator just got an update uh, about a week ago, week and a half ago, uh, right around the beginning of December, um, November 30th to be exact. And uh, one of the things I love about this update are the new drawing capabilities in it. Uh, so let's see here, we got a few people watching already. So with that said, why don't we go ahead and show you my screen. There we go. I'll just go down to the corner there. And um, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, one of the new things you'll notice in Illustrator and Photoshop and the other desktop apps is this new welcome or hello screen uh, that kind of just shows you uh, in a, like a project view uh, your recent files, your libraries, your presets, uh, their tutorials down at the bottom right. And of course, you can always search for Adobe Stock. But I'm just going to go ahead and create a new document find my mouse here there we are I'll just create a new document and in the new document again uh, for this example it won't really matter so I'll just use a default letter size we'll create it it's there and now uh, one of the tools I want to show you that's brand new is the brand new shaper tool so that's this tool right here um, it's the difference is it looks like the elliptical um, ellipse tool with a pencil on the side of it so that's the um, that's the tool that's the look of the tool at this point so what I want to do now is I want to just simply click on that tool and now um, whether you're using a mouse I'm using a stylus on my Wacom Cintiq here but here I'll show you the uh, Cintiq drawing let's bring up that camera as well and um, so here on the Cintiq, I'm actually going to use the stylus to draw, but even if you're using a mouse, this will work the same way. Now, as you know, if you want a shape, there are shape tools. There's the rectangle tool, ellipse tool. Uh, here, we can just show them real quick. All the tools that you know and love are still here. Rounded rectangle, polygon, star tool, and of course, the beloved flare tool. Those tools still exist, so if you know you want a specific shape, you can go to that shape and draw it. But with the Shaper tool, I no longer have to think, okay, go get the tool to draw a circle. Go get the tool to draw a square. Go get the tool to draw a triangle. I can just draw in, in, with natural gestures, and it will automatically, <clears throat> it'll automatically give me the shape that I'm trying to draw. So, for example, I can never draw a circle with my hand. Even with a stylus, I still can't. But if I do something like that, it automatically turns it into a circle. If I wanted a square or a rectangle. I can automatically just draw a square or rectangle. If I wanted a triangle, I get a triangle. If I want an upside down triangle, I get, <laughs> in that case, I do a triangle, but it's my upside down triangle based on what I'm trying to draw. Um, you can also, of course, intersect the shapes like that. And for example, let's say I do a bigger intersection. Um, you'll notice that, of course, the circle on top is hiding the square below. But if I scribble that out, now I've just joined them together. So I can, um, at any point, uh, cut out a shape based on just scribbling out the part of the shape that I no longer need. Uh, so it's combining a bunch of tools that we're used to in Illustrator uh, without having to do them one by one. I don't have to go to the rectangle tool and the circle tool and the, or the ellipse tool and then go to the Pathfinder tools or whatever. I can just do it all with one tool. So uh, you can get some pretty cool shapes this way. And of course, if you don't want a shape, you can just uh, scribble it out. So, and by the way, um, Illustrator CC supports um, touch interfaces like on the Surface Book and Surface Pro on the Windows side. So uh, drawing with your stylus on screen, again, makes it that much easier, similar to what I'm doing here with the Cintiq. So, for example, if I draw a circle there, well, that's not really a circle. Let's do that. And eh, I don't like that one either. That's better. And draw that one. And then we'll draw one kind of uh, intersecting them. 
And then of course, I can scribble that out, scribble that out, scribble that out, scribble that out, and I get my beginnings of a Mickey Mouse. So that's about the extent of my drawing capabilities. Um, so very cool to be able to uh, draw with these natural gestures like this. Now, in addition to uh, the ability to um, draw with the with your again with your hand and get straight lines, get uh, circles, get things that inter interact with each other, and of course we can then uh, cut things out if we want. Um, it's great to be able to do that, but also some enhancements have been made to um, uh, to the uh, I'm drawing a blank on the name here. Um, not only the shaper tool, but also the uh, I cannot think of the name of it, but the ability to go in and reshape based on um, whatever the name of this function is that I'm forgetting off the top of my head. But originally, you could only do this with your rectangle tool. Um, so now, for example, if I go back and I create uh, a different shape, let's do um, let's do a circle. And now I select that circle. There we go. I get a new set of handles on the circle as well. So for example, I can uh, quickly grab it and size it um, just by grabbing one of the one of the handles here. I can go in and now cut it into a pie shape very quickly, very easily. Uh, the transformation palette still lets me even toggle uh, which way I want that pie to be sliced. And of course, that's live live shapes. That's what I'm talking. That's what I was trying to remember. So your live uh, your live options are now applicable to more types of shapes than just squares and uh, rounded rectangles. Um, so very cool to be able to do that. Now it also uh, the polygon tool also takes on a new. Um, can I get that? There we go. The polygon tool also takes on some new live shape capabilities. So for example, if I uh, come over here and draw a polygon like that. We'll get the polygon shape and you'll notice that the polygon has its own handle as well so you can kind of reshape your polygon. Um, but one of my favorites is this little handle right down here in the bottom uh, corner. Uh, this handle, if I drag to the left or right, will allow me to choose the number of sides that I have in my shape. So I can turn that polygon quickly into a different shape just by dragging the number of sides. So I can go beyond six, for example, that it defaults to, or I can uh, simply twirl it down. And of course, we've got the same kinds of functions here. If I just want to make it smaller, um, of course, I can always pick it up and move it around. And let's see here. That will make it bigger. And that will, of course, continue to, to round it and change the shape of it. So, um, for those of you like me that um, need a little extra help in drawing, <clears throat> the new drawing capabilities in Illustrator, again, without having to go to as many different tools, will be a lot easier than they were before. So, I absolutely love the Shaper tool um, for creating my shapes and then again, being able to uh, join them together quickly and easily just by scribbling. Uh, so, for example, if I wanted to do something like this, you're about to really see how bad my drawing is. Then I can do something like this quickly and easily, or more professionally, I should say. And, of course, the shapes, um, once they're joined, they're joined. So let's undo that real quick. Before I join that one, I would just want to move it down. There we go. Go back to the shaper tool and then oh sorry hold on ah, there we go scribble that out and <clears throat> now it's pausing for a second just to make sure you're done and then it will show you the shape uh, that you just created so we'll give it a second to pause to make sure hey are you still scribbling on me are you done and then it will show you like like it just did that that's your finished shape at this point 
Uh, so I think Mickey has skinny legs. Oh, I didn't finish it. My bad. There we go. And of course, I can get rid of the shapes that I overdid. And uh, I think Mickey had big... Oh, hang on. That's going to be a bad one. Undo. I think Mickey also had big feet. So, this is why I'm not an illustrator. <laughs> but I can still have fun uh, with my illustrations. And let's kind of select this one. Is this still joined? It is not. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, so, same thing here. Join the feet. And I left something right there. It's just a bad angle there. I should do it. All right. So, you'll have some fun with uh, Illustrator CC. And you will draw much better than what I'm doing now. Now, keep in mind, it's still vector. So I can still go in and uh, treat it like any other vector with the points, resize, reshape, and um, fine tune it any way I want. So you're not limited to just using those tools. Those tools help you get your primitive shapes down fast, join them together. Then you can use any other drawing tools you want to finish it. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to use the um, new curvature tool, I could. Uh, so, for example, I could start here. Oh, there we go. Something like that. Undo, 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 undo. There we go. Add some curves to this. Quickly and easily with the curvature tool. So, doesn't matter what you started with, you can still play. Uh, hello, Jan. How's it going? Yeah, Mickey. Bad Mickey, though. Mickey would never want to actually see in real life, but um, playing around with the new shaper tools and uh, drawing capabilities in the latest update of Illustrator CC. Uh, so once again, you have the new shaper tool, lets you sketch out whatever you want and it converts it into real shapes, which you can join quickly and easily by scribbling. Then that becomes a shape you can fill, do whatever you want with, and modify with any of the other illustrator tools that you know and love so if you still want to use the pen tool by all means you can use it if you want to use the uh, enhanced pencil tool you can i wanted to see what this was under okay yeah so this new shaper tool got added to the same um tool set as the pencil the smoother tool so forth and so on and that kind of makes sense uh the pencil tool <clears throat> as you know has gotten uh, in the last couple updates ago got a new fidelity slider so it actually makes it much easier to draw nice lines with the pencil tool um, before you would never even think to use the pencil tool the pencil tool is like a joke among the illustrator community but now you could actually use it to get some nice shapes some nice uh, lines some nice curves all right so now my shape looks like it's growing hair and that's okay, I can do that. Um, and of course, we can still select any of these and fill them in as needed. And then we'll go to the object and bring to the front. There we are. All right, so that was it. I uh, just want to give you guys a quick update on some of the new drawing capabilities inside Illustrator. I hadn't, I hadn't really shown Illustrator even on my YouTube channel in a while, so I figured this would be a cool way to do it, uh, quick and easy, and of course I can repurpose this video on YouTube from Twitch. 
So thanks for joining me. Thanks for following. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.